London and Chelsea. So, you know for a fact that over the last couple of years that we've rammed full the uh, shelves in the back of the scrapyard. Here's some of the, the relics we find, the antiques, that we can't scrap. We, we save it on the shelves. Yeah, look at that though. You've got to think, yeah, that little wolf up there, it's quite nice, isn't it? That's probably worth a quid scrap. How could you scrap that? It's too nice to scrap in it. I want to have it on the shelf. Eventually, right, you'll come back in like six months and there'll just be like 40,000 items. 40,000 items. We'll probably have like 20 grand's worth of like brass ornaments on the shelf just for the sake of it. So, oh, Mike's here now. So, uh, we've got new ones built. We're building them now to go down the office. Look, look at that. We've had to cage it all off though because of the uh, horrible, some of the horrible people that come in the yard trying to nick everything. But that's quite cool, isn't it? Look at that. Welcome <laughs> to the Scrap King Diaries. Um, Thank you for all of the support on the last couple of videos. Uh, they've gone down really well. There was a comment about the brass shelves. I don't think we've really shown it off in all of its glory in the last couple of weeks. So here we go, guys. Are you ready for this? <laughs> no, you gotta take him over and show him those points over there. Are you ready for this? I'll show you. So much this is. I can't have one of these bikes forever, man. Right, that's it. I'm putting mine back in the wire. Hello, Derek. Desa. Is that a kid? Hello, Derek. How are you? Derek, please, mate, can I get you another pram? I've got one at home. I'm going to get rid of that one this week. If you see another pram in here yeah. with, like, four fully functioning wheels, please help yourself. Yeah, well, thanks. Can't, have a, can't you go around with a pram with four <laughs> wheels on yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, give you a pram. Or, I think it would be quite good, a wheelchair. I have to go on the bus. Yeah, use a wheelchair. <laughs> Big stone. That's it, bro, that's it. I've got a three, I've got a nice Mate, pram. Mate, right. I want to have a look now. Derek, I want to sort it out. Ah! Right, so here is the new shelf that we've built for the brass. As you can see, it's very nice. Have a look. Will, zoom in. I'm trying. I'm trying, it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> I carry the show apparently, so. Oh, so you do read the comments? Just in there, yeah. Oh, f***ing hell, Rich just woke up for once. Oh, look, that's quite cool, I like that one. Cool, that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really, really cool. cool mini cowboy boots. <laughs> See, I'm gonna f*** this up now, because it's crap. Right, as you can see, super busy. I'll just get that trap and load every two minutes. What? What is it? What is it? It's light time? Yeah. <laughs> it's not chewing. No? What, what? It's big. Where's the shearing? Just because it's big doesn't mean it's shearing. Why is it shearing? It's shearing. for you, I'll do it. Go ahead. I want that. What is it? Patronus. You want it. Why? Well, it's Mercedes, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That can go along with the rest of you, like Lewis Hamilton merch. You're like a fanboy, aren't you? Yeah. Do you want to keep it? Huh? Do you want it? You actually want that? Seriously, you want that? Yeah. Wait, what are you going to do with this? The Put it in the garden. So, as you can see, the yard is rammed. We've got all kinds of customers in here today. We've got guys weighing cars in, normal tatters. We've got a few cars inside just doing non-ferris that people have brought in. And it's only a normal Tuesday. Yesterday, I bought in bought 20, a full load of motors off another merchant yesterday. I bought two Arctic loads of old rolls off another merchant that come all the way down from up north. Reciprocal business, though, is how we uh, make sure 
They say the world goes round, well, I give it take in a bit, delivers me a bit of old roll, sold some discs to him because my export contracts are up and the Pakistan market has collapsed a little bit. Not, not collapsed, but just like this, it softens, so they're not paying as strongly. Get more money now in the UK. Or another UK merchant with an old contract for export can still pay high, so he's had those, that worked out really well. Uh, that's it, really. It's been a, a busy, uneventful week. Nothing really is like, nothing that science happened, but it's been all right, it's been good. It's how you like it sometimes. It allows us to get on top of the yard and get some small, annoying bits of bombs done. We're buying the Taurus is, uh, well, we're buying that much steel in now. The pile's growing, so we're actually running out of tatter space. We can't get it out quick enough. Um, we're just that busy. There's still queues up the road daily. Hello, Vasil. Hello, people. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you a security guard? Yes, very good, this one. You don't have this one, it's a big problem. Can you get, get a nice black one? Uh, black one... Slimming. Yes, uh, but this is the best one. This is the best one. This is the best one. You see the driving uh, truck, you see uh, the people with the crane. It's good, this one. So it's always you that uh, causes all the accidents, isn't it? Uh, never in this place, no accident. The people is very good here. Everything's fine. Thank you. Oh, and we forgot about this, but in two weeks' time, we're going to Bremen, which I've just been told about. So, Dem's gonna love that when I say, right, babe, I'm, saying, I'm leaving you for two days, the newborn. But, so, it is the Tuesday following the Misfits KSI Tommy Fury fight. And Rich and I went. I wouldn't actually say it was a fight. No, it wasn't, was it? Hugging comes as Dapper laughs, made me, made me laugh. Yeah, in the comedian when you're saying the sergeant was in the hugging. It's just Boxes. absolutely awful. Right, fair play for putting eyes on screens. And Logan Paul, I've never known a geezer so muscly, but so useless. Honestly, I sat in the crowd after three points, and I, and I reckon I could have beat both of them. At the same time, yeah. No useless, no gloves, just no hands. <laughs> Look, dodgy finger. I just absolutely And also, Misfits do a tag team boxing thing, right? And I think me and Richard are quite good at that. So, do you fancy your chances? 100%. Well, do you want to start calling them out, yeah? You... Listen, you can't have six packs like they do and be multi-millionaires, pay the best boxing trainers in the world, <coughs> have more money than sense to have things like nutritionists and all that sort of stuff, and then perform so poorly. Come on, man. I used to do three days a week downtown with Boxing Club. And I, 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 all useless. So who, you call, who, are you, who are you calling out then? Uh, well, that's would have, have to be a big one. I think Logan Paul in that 4 to 87. I was 102 today. There was one big one that wore that prison outfit. But he's got like actual abs coming off his abs, man. And Tyson Fury really has shown the world that you don't need a six pack to be an athlete because they are all useless. What's his name? Chase Taylor. That was his name, Chase, that's Chase Taylor. Useless. Thanks to the, uh, the bloke who asked Rich for a selfie, by the way, in the venue. <laughs> so when you pick a fight then, this is where you're going to train? I'll train, I'll train anywhere. I wouldn't even train for any of them. I would have turned up, but I'd have a fag on the way to the ring, I would, and just f***ing nut one straight in the nuts. But I don't know. I'm half interested, hit me up. Get, what do they all say, sign on the contract? It's all about money, I wouldn't even do it for a penny. Charity? I'll do it for charity, I'll tell you what, if it, I, I, I'll do it right. And I'll donate my purse to charity. So it's like that, yeah. That was, that, that was the whole fight, useless. Right then, so, I will apologise everybody for not much going on in this episode because we had lots planned. We wanted to dissect washing machines and things and sort of like just see what was in them for you guys. I literally can't do anything. My finger is painful. It's quite a bit colder today. That's because it's been really cold. I can bend it now. I can't get it any further than there. I can't really, I, you can't tell. The bruise is on down, but it is really painful. Hi there. I was just wondering if you had access to like private x-rays. It's for a finger, it is. A finger injury. Brilliant, thank you very much. Bye bye bye. 11 30 tomorrow. Bash. Half half eleven tomorrow. I'm going to get the finger x-ray. Why? What do you mean? Why because it hurts? No. Oh. It's a broken finger. They can't do anything to anyway. What, in your medical opinion? Yeah. <laughs> I had loads of broken fingers. 
into the lock fingers, but you don't write one. Yeah! <laughs> Break your fingers, you can't catch. I'll give it a little bit of you. So, who scored two tries this Saturday? What position are you? I was the glue that held that team together, mate, on Saturday. <laughs> you were, you were, actually, you were, you were, you were. Huh? Did, what, did he agree with me then? There he is, spotted. All right, H. You're up, lad. How are you? All right, yeah. Oh, Lee, what's that you got on there? Lee, I'm not happy about this. What? This, this, the whole sticker arrangement. So, because you are top oh. kid, presenting you, dead led to the with your own high vis, high visio. And because you're a tough biker now, it's black because we're hard. Know what I mean? Eight years. Eight years? <laughs> Eight years. It's tough to get one of these. Look at that. How come it ain't in a fucking picture frame? Because you got to wear it. Oh, What's made you do this? I just thought, you know what? You got to just... Bite yeah. the bullet. Just bite the bullet, man, yeah. Thank you very much, H. No I worries. feel really a part of the company now after eight years. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, though, you say that, but you have had one of them before in last year. Look at that, eight years of service. Look at that. Craig, Craig, I know that we went out on Saturday night, mate, but you've left your, you've left your trousers on your wagon. I'll have to, put, I'll have to bring, bring them back for you next week. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do. Uh, it's, the time is now, and we've got to go, Will. Morning drive! Uh, the time is now, we've got to go. Bit of a journey now. We're going to go and collect something very nice, which I'm very excited about. Hello, Booster. <laughs> really busy. Rich. 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 Right then, let's go, man. I'm very, very excited. Want to get on the road? What a drive, man. I'm back into the park, isn't it? We're like a one-man van team, aren't we, Josh? Just without the one man and like a like a Luton. That's that would have been ideal. Yeah. I need to stretch my legs after that. Oh. Right, so we have driven two hours all the way down to Milton Keynes, and I think a few of you guys might recognise this. But we are actually at Urban Automotive. We're going to go and see Lenny because he's got to reveal something for us that I've waited for for well ever since Lenny started working for Urban and did these cars. I've wanted one, and it's took years, and I've got one, and it's in there, and I want to see it revealed, and I'm very excited. Um, yeah, just a great day, and I'm very excited, and that's all I've got to say, really. I just want to get in there and see it now. Is it a Micro with a body kit on? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a 2002 Nissan Micro <laughs> for Bankers and Cash 2024 uh, with an urban body kit on, and I'll get in. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> What's happening? Long time no speak. Uh, how many takes did that take? Go on, tell me. Was one, that one take? Oh, one take. One, one take. Man. I'm so smooth at this now. You're professional. I'm now. just straight down the line, straight at it. No dramas anymore. <laughs> now, if that was Richard, I oh, really, oh, he's he a problem been, child. He, is he? he would have, he would have, he would have 10, 10 or twenty goes, man. Right, everyone. This is a very good friend of mine, Harry Taroni. We've known each other for what, nearly ten years yeah. now. Yeah. And yeah. I finally got you down here, and we finally got you in an urban car. Finally, finally, yeah, yeah, we've finally been talking, you've been spinning my nut about it for the last two years, ever since you saw the Defender come out, because you've been rolling about in that big old highlight. I remember messaging about it, right, and then nothing really came nothing really came through, and then like six months later, it was like, oh, should I get one, and then I texted you again, and then I didn't get it again. Because everything, had, like, because there was like a 12 month lead time, mm -hmm. like, everything, the world had gone mad, yeah. and then you finally got a deal on one. Yeah, and then Straight, yeah. me and your brother. So he just wanted his side steps and the rear seat conversion. He's yeah. nice and easy, isn't he? Yeah, so Richard, is he's a... like the Logan Paul. You're like Jake Paul. You're the problem <laughs> child. <laughs> 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 I know you like to model yourself more on Conor McGregor, but 
<laughs> I think it's um, I think it's a, a, a very flamboyant way of putting it. Yeah, <laughs> Richard's, Richard's basically is that the same as me? But he said, oh, I see what instead of having any extras on it at all, let's just go nice and plain and simple. Yeah. And kept it. So, so he actually it's... got his last week. <laughs> so Harry's got his own, uh, or the HW Trony has got his yeah. own YouTube channel. So go and check them out because it's a very very entertaining channel about the business, scrap yes, metal, the world are, of metals. Yeah, we are a family run scrapyard, and there's lots of. Uh, interesting characters and things <laughs> that happen there we just thought it'd be a good way of marketing ourselves yeah. and putting it out there and it's, it's done really well for us to be fair so i'm really good. can't mind yeah good and now you're rolling an advertisement for us with, for the, urban with the urban Vendor. Vendor. i did actually ask lenny if i could change the urban on the front to scrap king and he just full on went no well, chance you did also ask me about gold wheels and stuff like that as well so i'm kind of a little bit like right i've got to draw him in a little bit i've got to just like just let him calm down a little bit i do what's best for you yeah you said to me you literally sent me a message saying you're going to be a headache <laughs> That's what he said to me, man. All I want to do is kick me car out yeah, so, with yours. So, so out of 10, what were we saying about the customer service? Then? Remember, I'm a friend of yours. But on the... I think I think that's... Uh, it's 10 out of 10, is that what you're saying? Uh, what a guy. Uh, so he's 10 out of 10, <laughs> rave reviews. Thank you. <laughs> did, to be fair, though, because obviously you guys are two hours away, I, I did say to Lenny, 100% just trust your judgment, just put what you want in it, basically. I, I did sort of guide you slightly yeah, towards yeah, yeah. the wheels and how it should look. And I think, as well, you guys, you're so out there. It's hard to, and you got so much stuff for them as well. Yeah, now. this is the other thing. Like with the um, the Sport and the Vogue's and the SVRs, the previous generation Range Rovers, it was bumper replacements, bits of carbon, and then what wheels you wanted. With the Defender, there's so many options, so many options, and you were like, "What about this? What about this? What about this?" So we've gone for like the the wide track full package. But there are so many other options that I know that you're probably going to go for afterwards, like the side box, the wind deflectors, things that Urban don't really do. Left. The dream's over now. Is Let that it now? That's it. Back that, to work after this item. Need to sell some more metal. I need to get some more metal in. Right, are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah are you excited? Yeah, yeah very. Right. Very. Right, are you ready? Sick. <laughs> that is f***ing evil. And it's way wider than I thought as well. That's so bad, that is. What do you think? Yeah, sick, man. I'm buzzing with that, thank yeah, you very yeah. much, yeah, I'm buzzing, and then wheels are something else. I told you about those, I didn't I am buzzing, I went for that option. Sick, man. So, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll talk you through it. So, done the full painted colour coding. So obviously all this was silver before, so we've done all that in colour coding, gloss black. Um, you've got your lower canards, your wide track arches, square DRLs, best of British top vents, best of British side vents, roof light bar, spoiler, colour coded down the sides, urban mud flaps, 22 inch WX3 alloys, rear spoiler, and then your premium wheel cover. Bad man. And I, you could have, I suppose you could have HW Tironi on the top there. Nah, like uh, the top man, like yeah. it's, it's, it's just extra, extra black like, like my uh, Mrs. Car and uh, Can't beat you, can you? Murdered yeah. out, yeah. You look wicked next to my Harley, that one. <sighs> it doesn't sound like that, unfortunately. No, it doesn't matter. No, we haven't. We have <laughs> I just, any, anything that sounds like that, all that says to me is 200 quid a week on Exactly that, yeah, exactly that, exactly that. And then, of course, you've got the rear seat conversion as well. Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot about that. There we go, thank you very much. It's my glamorous assistant. There we go. Oh yeah, sweet, nice. So obviously we're taking the bulkhead out, you put the bench seat in the back, but the best thing about this as well is you retain the van element in the back, so the seats fold flat. I was trying to explain this to my old man, I was trying to yeah. say it's still a van with a seat. Van. Yeah, so once the, the seats <gasps> fold flat. Oh, here we go. I can feel at home now. Health and safety first. I feel at home now. Health and safety first. So you keep the, um, the storage in the back for your shotguns and yeah, 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 bad. all the other stuff, yeah? yeah. Actually, that's been fitted in two weeks with my gun shelf. You are actually getting a gun yeah, shelf? Yeah, but I bought it, yeah. Really? I ordered it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Full, got two, storage of two shotguns, about six bottles of slow gin. Perfect. <laughs> 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 oh, man, yeah, buzzing, man. Happy, yeah? Yeah, yeah, really happy, mate. It's such an, it's such an upgrade from my high looks I had for six years. Six years you had that? I had the, 2017, I got that, man. Now you're going to keep this clean? Yeah. No, I can't. Where I live, <laughs> where, uh, where I live it's just, it's just, it is what it is. It's just country lines. You're out in the country, ain't you? So yeah. But they look, cool, they look cool dirty anyway. The wheels, I thought they were like the low profile ones. No. They're well chunky. No, you've still got a 45 profile tyre, so you've got no, absolutely no, no excuses. No excuses to curb them. 
but I can go up on that. You can go up. I like to. Just make it, sure I was that, used, sure like, I was that yeah. used, used to my Hilux shit, just, just ramming it up things. Yeah. I swear on life, it was just ramming it on stuff. You've got to be a little bit more careful, please. And the roof light bar, I don't use them on the road unless it's for like a serious case of road rage. Urban automotive has been blinding everyone. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> exactly what, that. It's not, it's not a case of get me getting upset, <laughs> it's you guys. <laughs> right, so you're now a brand ambassador for us, so please, yeah. just please be, be good. No, that is amazing, man. Happy, I'm chuffed, yeah. man. And we'll put the lights on, just for like, so you got a little James Bond switch down the bottom there. I oh, see. Yeah. Yeah, sound. I've left all your like your like your change and your screws and your three pairs of sunglasses, your four gate remotes, and everything else has been left out. I'm very happy you sent me my fuel receipt though. Oh, my my yeah, the the <laughs> <laughs> Len, do us a favour, mate. I've left that receipt in the glove box. <laughs> oh man. So there we go. Happy? Yeah, yeah, very happy, mate. Nice one. So that's Harry Taroni. That's Harry Tironi, go check out his... Oh, yeah, who, who are we looking at? <laughs> Behind the scenes. Oh yeah, go check out the HW Tironi Scrap Metal YouTube. It's very entertaining. That's my boy. Right, last ben, one, mate. Nice one, man. Where's my keys? How was that? Oh, there we go, that's it. That's it then. Cool. Bang on, mate. Sweet. Do look taller than any? Yeah, I was, you always were like about an inch or so. I have a picture of Richard, and he just, he honestly, every time, <laughs> I, I promise you, man. I promise you. Even if you watch the videos, right, you'll see it. Sometimes sort of he'll start filming. Yeah, he'll start bit. filming. And obviously, you can't see our legs, and all of a sudden you'll just see Rich go. <laughs> He's raving for it. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, buzzing, man. Yeah, yeah really, really happy. Nice. I just, um, yeah, just can't, can't beat it, man. No. It's evil. So, said to, said to Josh, pull around the front, Josh. Obviously, we'll, we'll get in the recovery and then do some rolling shots of the Defender leaving Herb and all that sort of stuff. Pratt's got in and just gone. Phone to it, where are you? Next services, pull over, wait for us, we'll do it then. Doesn't really matter, right? Pulled over the... Josh, I haven't turned my engine on, you know. Oh, right. So yeah, so Josh sent me his location, landed there to obviously swap Will with whatever. Now the recovery won't start, so I've had my Defender with my Urban kit on. 12 minutes <laughs> and I'm already trying to jump the recovery off it. Oh, God. Start, start yours. The problem is, yeah, that recovery is like not two years old. Josh? Yeah. Shall I, tell, shall I turn my car on? Yes. Yeah. Don't blow my car up, man. We're an hour from the yard, man. It's like Scotland all over again. It's like Scotland in a, in a service station and the vans broke down. That was a Citroen last time, though. She's a goer, she's a goer. She's a goer. Try that. I'm the fool with the hammer. Try that. <laughs> uh, something, something's wrong. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm not a mechanic. I can smash stuff up, I can't fix anything. Check the fuse by the battery. Oh, no. they, are, they are tow hooks. They are tow hooks. Well, I've got it now. I've got to, get, I've got to take, me, take the recovery back. <laughs> no, this is real life, mate. There's no. This, 100%. And, and then you've got a clever mechanic in there that can get this fucking going. Look, look. No chance, nothing. Dead. Dead. Yeah, that is not ideal, is it? And, it's, and I've just tried to jump it off, the, off, the, off my defense. Uh, that. I've got the, the, the red cap on my battery, and then there's um, a bolt on the other side. That's the negative, yeah? Yes, that's so, right. Yeah, so we did it. We did it right. So it's <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be nice to test this, Will. Literally, I don't know what to say. Well, nothing to say apart from wish me luck. Good luck. Mm. Good luck to the geezer you're towing as well. Oh, Josh is panicking, man. He's having a, having a meltdown about writing my truck off. It was me, personally, I'd call the AA or the RSC or whoever is your designated recovery. It's all part of the fun, we'll be alright. No. We'll be alright then, don't worry. Nice one, Val. I'll talk that. Yeah, 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 it'll be sweet. I don't need to send out any rescue. No, 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 be sound, be sound. Nice one. I can tell off that, that's all I wanted to know. See in a bit. <laughs> nice test for the odd defending. But this is what they are designed for, right? Mine just looks cool, but it's also a functioning uh, workhorse. Think on. You know what I mean? Couldn't do this in my micro. Hello! This is a specially designed tow hook ride. Oh God, it's come off. <laughs> <laughs> it's all funny, it's all good. So, yeah, Josh, 
if, if, if this works, you're going to have to just flat, well, just do under mile an hour, go for it and get back. And a moment. Oh, oh, all right, Sam. Where's the hook? Is this? All of you guys think I can't do anything. I can use a ratchet. No, I mean, come on, Josh. Listen, it's all part of the adventure of life. When you get caught with a, a problem, we, every, anyone can moan. Oh, that's not good, is it? Anyone can moan? Listen, Josh, I'll talk to you about strapping and back throw. Hey, it could be worse. We could be 65 miles from home. We're going to try and bump it with your def Defendi. Right, Josh, you ready? You ready? Oh, I don't know, you were crying a minute ago. That's what I need, towing. Oh my God, it's got like cameras for towing mud. No, yes, when, say when. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just stay, just stay, just stay in there. Oh no, I've gone too far, I'm running forward, I need to back up. Oh, the driver's looking at that for. You can see what I'm doing. Oh God. Josh, you're gonna have to do that, mate. I'm gonna get, I can't get my new car wrecked. Please, I'll rev this. I'll keep this going. I can't get filthy and get in there, mate. See, it's called ingenuity, persistence. Yeah? Yeah. Right then. Just please don't stall it, Josh. Please don't stall it. It's moving. Look, special towing cameras. Fantastic, that was. Let me go first. Right then, after all that palaver, we're finally moving. We'll hit the B-roll. Nah, only joking. Let's see the real one. So, uh, on the way back to the yard now, uh, I think when Richard collected his last week from her, but it didn't take him this long. Uh, but unfortunately, due to uh, the recovery, we are two hours behind schedule. <laughs> He's gonna be fuming. Uh, but that's it, innit? What can I do? Do my best. So, 15 minutes away. <sighs> right, so I've got some serious paperwork to go through. So, I promise everybody, next week, next episode, be more scrap related and we will make it please drop a comment if you want more scrap related footage and if you want us to do anything that is not for them whose is that ticket take two there we go so yeah dm us comment if you want what's the chair broke um because it's just been got back and it's just chaos so uh no even richard's over there flat out as well <sighs> don't forget like share and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you next week